Hey, what is up guys? Harry Ranson here and in this video, I'm going to be discussing whether you really need to do 10,000 steps a day. But before we get into that, let's discuss where the 10,000 step rule came in. And it actually came in in Japan in the 1960s when they released a pedometer called Mampo Kai, which translated to 10,000 step meter, which encouraged people to walk at least 10,000 steps per day. And whilst there was no research at the time, in 2006, the American Journal of Health actually released a study that showed that 10,000 steps wasn't a bad place to start. So the study was the effects of 10,000 step per day goal in overweight adults. And what they found in a study of 38 subjects who completed the study, that walking on average 10,000 steps a day had significant changes on body composition and other health markers. But does this mean that you should be walking 10,000 steps per day? Now I see this similar to the government guideline for calories, which in the UK is 2000 calories for females and 2500 calories for males. It's very much an average. And while it would work for a lot of people, it's all going to be context and individual dependent. So I'm going to use quite an extreme example to solidify my point. Michael Phelps is a swimmer from the United States who has won many, many gold medals and swims for multiple hours per day. And it's even said that he eats up to 12,000 calories per day. I don't quite believe it, but I'd be very impressed if he did. Now let's just say that Phelps swims multiple hours a day, burning hundreds, if not thousands of calories. Do you really think he needs to walk 10,000 steps a day? You see, for people that are generally sedentary, who have office jobs and sit down a lot and aren't that active, 10,000 steps a day would be a great way to get some exercise in, burn some calories, and potentially have positive effects on their health and cardiovascular system. However, if you're already very active, maybe you have an active job or you're very active in sport, you may not need to do 10,000 steps a day. So very similar to calorie intake, you may need to do more steps in order to reach your goal or achieve the health benefits, or you may need to do less depending on what your daily activity is. There is no magic to the 10,000 steps a day. But having said that, I don't think that 10,000 steps is necessarily a bad thing to aim for, even for people that are more active. I think when you consider that obesity rates are on the rise, people should be doing more activity and not less. The only time that I probably wouldn't recommend someone doing 10,000 steps is if they were actively trying to put on weight and they were active elsewhere. However, for the majority of the population, I don't necessarily think 10,000 steps a day is a bad thing to do. So hopefully this video has given you some insight into where the 10,000 step per day rule came from and also whether you should be doing 10,000 steps a day. If you like this video, please like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.